think the the planets are? They're lights. Is it is it like is, it's not like dirt or like no? It's the planets aren't like Mars. Isn't like dirt. No, it not not at all. So they're not what landing. They? So they're not landing Mars rovers on Mars, right? Not at all. Ptolemy, for thousands of years before the Jesuit Copernicus turned up and made a spinning ball, was saying all of the seven planets are entirely luminous. <sighs> there it is. They are portals. <laughs> Italian genius Pierluigi Ghina, who was a, uh, uh, a colleague of Marconi, the inventor of the radio, thank you very much, these two geniuses, he uh, studied the sun and energy, and he's a, fl he's a stationary earther. He's insisted, up until the day he died, 2004, you see him on YouTube, little Italian man saying, La terra è ferma. He says, me and Marconi discovered that the earth is stationary. It doesn't move. And then he takes you into his laboratory and shows you with strobe lights how you can prove quite easily that the Earth does not move. Oh, here we go. Well, We're he, in it. he said the stars are holes in the sky. So that got me thinking. The Greeks said that the stars are like nailed onto the firmament. Uh, the Babylonians says that the stars are glued onto a, a, like an aerogel sort of floating in space uh, chandelier type thing where all the stars and, and the seven planets are going around on the ecliptic and they said that's like a chandelier and they're pinned to it they're holes in the sky seeing there is the dance of the gods the moon the sun these are gods they are gods they are archangels the jews they'll tell you in kabbalah they'll tell you the moon is raphael mercury is gabriel etc the sun is michael how they're how how um they say the sun is 93 million miles away how far do you think it really is about or 60 to 100 miles 60 to 100 miles away. N probably not even. I might be so wrong. It's probably just more local. and It looks really close. When you it look does. at it, it's like, it's right there. How is it 93 million miles away? Yeah. Where'd they get that number? How do they, what are they trying to do? What is NASA trying to do with, with all their uh, <laughs> space science? They're trying to make a godless world of <laughs> oh my God. everyone is insignificant, except for the rich people who've got all the money. They're significant because they're on the glossy magazines. You're not. And yeah. the suns, and we're hurtling through space, and, and we don't know when it's all going to blow up, and blah, 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 and there's, there's no organized... There's an asteroid coming. We need, a, we need an asteroid tax, right? Yeah, exactly. <laughs> Give us some money. We'll stop it. We've got the technology. Yeah. Right? So